Do you experience annoying anal itching? Surprisingly, you are not alone. Many people experience anal itching or what's often called pruritus ani, and that's fairly common, but of course it's not talked about. So I'm gonna talk about most of the causes of anal itching and what to do about them. Hi, I'm Dr. Stephen Wangen, the founder and medical director of the IBS Treatment Center. You might not think of anal itching as having anything to do with IBS, but it's actually quite common in the patients that we see with IBS. And I'll discuss why that is and what to do about it. Let's go through the main causes of anal itching, starting with the least common, but of course always the most scary, which is the way the internet likes to be, right? And working our way up to the most common. Now, the first one to talk about is anal cancer. That's quite rare, less than a half a percent of a chance that you would have that, but if your anal itching doesn't resolve, which some of the issues that we'll talk about in this video, then be sure to tell your doctor that you have it and get it checked out. The second potential cause of anal itching is an anal fissure. Now that's also quite rare, there's also less than a half of a percent chance that you would have that, but it happens to men as well as to women, so be aware of that, keep that in mind. And your GI doc should be able to rule this out pretty readily, so it's not something that, you know, as long as you go get it checked out, they'll know for sure if you have that. Now the third thing I wanna talk about that causes anal itching is STD. Sexually transmitted diseases can cause anal itching, but basically only if you are engaging in activity that could lead to an STD in that area, right? So you need to be the judge of that and be sure to tell your doctor about any risk factors for this and don't be shy or embarrassed. Doctors have seen it all, right? That's what we're here for. That's what we help people with. All right, another cause is psoriasis or dermatitis. Now this is still relatively uncommon compared to some of the major causes, but it can happen. And most people who have psoriasis or dermatitis do not have it around the anus. So I just want you to know that. But most people who experience this kind of anal itching do have psoriasis or dermatitis in other areas of the body, not just the anus. So see your doctor, of course, and get this checked out. Now, now we're starting to get into a few of the more common causes of anal itching. And this next one is hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids are relatively common and anal itching from hemorrhoid, hemorrhoids is also quite common and about five to 10% of the population gets hemorrhoids at some point. So when the hemorrhoids are really irritating you and really bad, they often get a little bleeding with that too and they can often get uh, extremely itchy. And of course, your doctor will be able to, to help you sort that out and tell you if that's what you have. Next one is pinworms. Now, pinworms are little teeny tiny worms like you, that you might be able to see without a microscope if you're really lucky, but you probably won't. And the eggs, which are the most common way of diagnosing them, are definitely only visible under a microscope. But about 10% of the population gets pinworms at some point. And it's far more common in children than it is in adults. Now, anal itching can be the only symptom of pinworms, and it usually occurs the itchiness at night. So the good news is that this is really easy to treat. So it's, it's not a long-term problem. It's just something that you need to get sorted out with your doctor if that's what's happening. Now, the next one is a lot bigger, and this one is candida. So candida is a very common cause of anal itching in my experience. And candida is a yeast and it can cause just as many problems in the digestive system as it can cause in other areas of the body. But to learn more about candida and how it can affect not only digestion, but almost literally any other aspect of your health, watch many of my other videos on the topic of candida and they will help you learn a ton more about it. It's way too much than we can get into here today. But we deal with candida in patients every day at our clinic. And I'd say that it's the most underdiagnosed and misunderstood condition in healthcare today and, and a very common cause of an itchy anus. Now the next one, this is the last group and this is a huge one even a little bit bigger than 
candida, and this is diarrhea. This is simply the symptoms of diarrhea or constipation. Both diarrhea and constipation can cause anal itching. But what do they have in common? Well, they both are irritating to the anus, right? Because diarrhea, because of the frequent bowel movements and the lots of wiping, that's very irritating and that can lead to, to an itchiness. And the constipation, because of all the pressure and stretching and thus also irritation of the anus, right? So that can also, also cause itchiness there. Now, diarrhea and constipation are actually quite common and up to 20% of people suffer from chronic diarrhea or chronic constipation. And most of that is IBS or irritable bowel syndrome, which is of course what we focus and specialize in here and why we see a lot of patients at the IBS treatment center with an itchy anus. Now, it's also good to know that a lot of people with diarrhea or constipation could also have candida. So be aware of that, that there's a big overlap between those two. Now, as you can see from this chart, it's far more likely that you have anal itching from diarrhea or constipation or candida than anything else. And keep in mind that even if you have something like hemorrhoids or psoriasis or dermatitis or even pinworms, there is still a significant chance that you also still have candida on top of that because it's so common and it overlaps with so many things. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below, so don't be shy, please. And if you need help with IBS or candida, we work with people all over North America and the world via Zoom and telemedicine. Our number is down below, so please give us a call. We'd love to help you too. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more unique information about your health that you may not be able to get anywhere else. Thank you for watching.